Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This is a special day, a very special day on the channel because we are switching over officially from FIFA 19 to FIFA 20. It is September. A lot of people have switched into FIFA 20 mode as the game is here in less than four weeks from the official release date and from early access, um, you know, pre-ordering the game, EA access as well those dates are coming very soon. So it's time to switch over to FIFA 20. The relaxation of the summer, the chill time of FIFA, I hope you guys enjoyed your time uh, because now it's getting back into crunch time again. The new game is coming along, more information is coming out, and we reset again every single year. The way FIFA is, we reset every year, and we've come to that reset point from FIFA 19 to FIFA 20. So basically what I wanted to do today is I wanted to outline what... I'm going to be doing on this channel for you guys in FIFA 20. I want to take a look at FIFA 19 just a little bit and also how we're transitioning into FIFA 20, what you're going to see from me, what you can expect from me on this channel, and what I expect to do for you guys. The reason I'm doing this is because of you. I do this because I like to help people. I like to teach people and to inform people how to make coins and how to be successful inside of this game mode, FIFA ultimate team all right that's the main thing that i like to do on this channel and i started this channel i started doing that about a year ago from this time i'm going to insert a video clip a clip really quick and i want you guys to take a look at this this is me one year ago starting this whole thing roll it what's up boys it's nate dog mac welcome back to the channel and today i have for you guys my very first fifa 19 prep video we're gonna be making a lot of videos on fifa 19 this year i got a, i built a pc we're gonna be uh moving into a place where i'll be able to stream and record some youtube videos so i'm excited to be putting out some content of what i like to do on fifa ultimate team and what i like to do is trade so as you can see a decent amount of things have changed i am in the new setup you guys know where I've been at. You, If you follow me from the beginning, you're a real OG, but a lot of you guys have come along this past year as the channel has grown, as I've made videos, and as we've been able to amass um, some big time fortunes on FIFA Ultimate Team. And I know that I've been able to help a lot of you guys out, and that, very, uh, that excites me even more um, for this next year on FIFA Ultimate Team. But what I wanna get into first is, uh, again, just kinda telling you guys what I'm going to be doing on this channel for you and basically kind of getting our mindset right for FIFA 20. Again, we're going from that FIFA 19 to the FIFA 20, but I wanted to start the FIFA 20 videos off with a general overview of what I'm going to be doing and what you can expect because it's just like writing a paper for school, right? You have to outline your entire paper with your thesis statement and your intro paragraph, right? All you guys that are in school, you can kind of relate. That's what I'm doing here. I'm just setting the borderline for the rest of FIFA 20 what you can expect from me, and what you're going to see on this channel, alright? So, again, FIFA 19, we ended with 79 million coins and transfer profit. It was a massive jump for me, up from 13 million in FIFA 18 to 79 million in FIFA 19. Um, and obviously, we're moving consoles to, for FIFA 20, if you guys have heard me say that. I am moving from the Xbox to the PS4, um, just because I have a lot more friends there. And it just opens up a whole another level of creative content and creative juices flowing everywhere with all the people that I know on PlayStation 4. So I'm excited for that. It's a different market as well. We're going to learn the intricacies of both. Uh, but that's the first thing I'm going to point out. Whether you're on Xbox or PS4, I have, I will have pretty excessive experience with both of those markets. Even though they are very similar, they do have their differences. So I'll be able to kind of point you Xbox guys in a certain direction where it might be different than PS4 and vice versa since I'll be on the PS4 market be able to point you guys in maybe a slightly different direction in some of those differences right there. But basically from the get-go, you're going to see a lot of trading and market-based videos on this channel. My trademark videos, if you haven't seen them for the past year, have been called the Market Talks. And basically, I sit here, we look at cards, um, you guys comment questions down below, and you can we can kind of enter into a conversation on a lot of these videos because I like to look at the market, you guys like to make coins, and I like to teach you guys how to do that. So throughout the year last year, we looked at so many cards in terms of trading. We looked at informs, we looked at gold cards, we looked at out of pack stuff, we looked at icons. 
we looked at silvers. Basically, what you get with me on this channel is you're going to get every single type of trading from discard inform investing, stashing cards away in your club, to high profile icon flips, making 500,000 coins on one card when you're up in those high tier budgets. Everything from, again, from the silvers to the high tier budgets, you're gonna see it all on this channel because my goal here, and we're gonna talk about goals here a little bit later, but my goal here for you guys is to teach you guys how to become well-rounded and well-versed and very versatile on this FIFA Ultimate Team Transfer Market because there is zero reason that you absolutely have to spend FIFA points on this game, all right? If you have a little bit of time on your hands, maybe a couple hours a week, you can sit down, watch a video or two, start to learn things and make market moves by yourself from the things that I have taught you and obviously you can keep coming back, ask me questions for confirmation and watch me do it alongside with you. Um, but ultimately you can learn to make those decisions yourself and in accordance with others, and with me, with our community, the Discord community that we have, the Twitter community, the live streams on Twitch. You can watch me do this live on stream. Um, but that's my main goal is to help teach you guys how to do that stuff. Learning the market is about two major things, supply and demand. And I want to talk about that a little bit as well. I don't want to go too deep into a lot of these things because a lot of this stuff is general knowledge. Um, but it's necessary and so many of these topics that I'm touching on today could be a whole entire video on themselves But supply and demand EA is ultimately in control of this market That's the first thing I'll talk about EA is totally in control of this market They can drop any SBC any cards and packs at any time that they want to we can't control that So there's always that level of risk that we have to assess and we have to be aware of when we're trading in this game so everything that I um, Express to you guys is a good move everything you see me do is always calculated and we always consider the risk, whether it be a low risk, whether it be a bit of a higher risk, we're always considering the risk, just like an accounting uh, person would do. Like, I am an accountant, that's not just the name, I am an accountant in real life. That's why we have the name there and we assume that risk in accounting real in real life as well. So supply and demand on the market, we're going to work through a lot of those things this year. That's what you can expect to see from me. But I want to kind of throw it back to you guys now and talk a little bit more about something. If you're preparing for FIFA 20 trading, what you can expect to get from me in terms of mindset, um, having goals. Basically, my goal this year on FIFA 19, one of my goals was to get top 100 in transfer profit. And I definitely hit that. I was up to around the top 60 range when I hit 77 million coins. Uh, during team of the season, which is basically when I stopped trading right after team of the season uh, most consistent um, I was up in the top 60 range on Xbox with around 76 million coins, which is a massive feat for me um, And it was very possible. Yes, I was putting a lot of time in I was investing I was trading every week all the time on the companion app the web app Which those are your best friends by the way when you don't have the ability to have time to sit down at the console but that is uh, some of your best tools um, going forward, but it's very possible for you guys to attain very high levels of transfer profit in FIFA Ultimate Team. I mean, l take a look at this team. This year in FIFA 19 was a crazy year in terms of the amount of coins you had to pay for some of the biggest cards in the market and how much they actually cost you coin-wise. Um, that was pretty nuts. Some of the cards they put out this year, the Icon Moments, the Team of the Years, Team of the Seasons, and some of their prices. This year you had to have, had to have a lot of coins to have a, be a good team or the best team in FIFA, and I don't expect anything different for the next year of FIFA Ultimate Team. I think the prices are gonna stay high. I think that EA is gonna continue to release promos, keep the market high, and it makes them more money, so why wouldn't they do it again? So that means this year we need to make more coins, um, and obviously when EA makes promos and puts cards on the market, that's just more chances and opportunities for us to make those coins. But again, I wanna reinforce this. Whatever your goal is this year, whatever is driving you to want to make coins, whether it be having the best squad in FIFA, whether it be buying Ronaldo or Messi for the first time, you need to set yourself a goal. And you have a little bit of time before we head into the web app stages, EA Access, and the game release of FIFA 20, you have a little bit of time to figure that out for yourself. This last year, again, I wanted to get top 100. That was my goal. I didn't build a team until fairly late on in FIFA 19. I waited a long time to build a team because I was so pressed and so hard uh, eyeing 
that top 100 finish as my goal this year. Now it's going to change a little bit for me this year, but I want you guys to really think about it for yourselves. What is your goal for FIFA 20? What do you want to do? Whether it be a transfer profit number, a number of coins in the top left-hand corner of your screen that you want to see. Maybe you want to hit 10 million coins for the first time ever. And uh, you want to hit that by a certain date. That's something that you need to start forming yourself right now early on in FIFA 20 in the planning stages of this game. Set yourself some goals so that you can attain them. Write them down. Put them on a sticky note. Put it on your TV where you play FIFA. Put it on your Xbox controller. Write it on your phone. You know, stuff like that. I mean, this, this game doesn't have to be your life. It definitely doesn't have to be your life. But you can make a lot of coins by putting a little bit of extra time into it without having to spend FIFA points, which is basically what this channel is all about. So again, what do I plan to do for you guys? I plan to give you info, to teach, to and just provide knowledge to you guys because knowledge on this game is power. You have to have knowledge to trade. Sometimes you can buy things randomly and it'll work out and you'll make coins and you'll feel like you're a beast at trading. But you'll try to do the same thing the next time and it won't work. All right? That's just luck. Having knowledge is power. In anything in life, having knowledge is power. You can make informed decisions and you can learn about something and you can um, perform better in that area and whatever it is you're chasing after. But for us, it's FIFA, okay? You can learn to trade, you can learn market trends, make those coins, and you're, you're learning so many more valuable lessons than just on FIFA. When you're learning the FIFA transfer market, you're learning supply and demand, you're learning economics, you're learning so many parts of so many theories that are applicable in many other areas in life than on FIFA. It's a market. There's markets all across the world. You have stock markets, you have like oil and gas. Those are markets. The price, Anything that has a price that people want and there's demand and there's supply for, there's a market for that product or that service. And that's where you can learn a lot from this game. I'm teaching you guys real life skills as well. Not just about how to make coins on FIFA, but supply and demand, and other economical market um, trends and issues and values and um, stuff that you can apply in many other areas in real life, right? So you're not just putting time into FIFA, you're putting time into yourself and learning new concepts. Um, so that's why I think watching this channel and watching my streams and everything, you'll be able to learn some of those things because knowledge is power. And I mentioned that a little bit before without actually saying those words, knowledge is power with whatever you do. Whether it's learning to play guitar, learning to um, get coins on FIFA, learning to drive a car, or learning to um, pass a, a certain exam that you have uh, for school or, or for whatever, knowledge is power. And also on this game, at least, coins give you power. If you don't have coins in this game, you can't really do much. You can't do SBCs, you can't build a team. You can't do a lot in this game if you don't have coins. So I wanna give you guys the power of knowledge to then go and create power for yourselves in terms of coins on this game to complete the goals that you have set out for yourselves. Maybe you just love Tottenham. My boys, if you love Tottenham, you wanna have the best Tottenham squad at the end of FIFA 20, that's your entire goal. That's a great goal, but how are you gonna get there along the way? Learn, attain knowledge that is power, and turn that knowledge into coins, all right? So again, that's what I wanted to focus on with you guys on this video. Again, at the end, I want to touch on what you're going to see on this channel. You're going to see me trading a lot. You're going to see me opening a lot of packs because I know a lot of you guys aren't able to spend the time or you're still learning, and that's totally fine. If you're still learning how to trade in FIFA, I don't expect you to go from uh, first year trading to a top 100 trader in one year. Everybody's different. Everybody learns at their own pace. And everybody needs to take time to learn things uh, at their at their own rate of speed. Okay, I went from 13 million transfer profit to 79. It took me that's a big jump in one year. But in the years prior to that, I probably had like four or five million, and I barely ever traded. It took me two years to really get a grasp on this market and learn a lot of the trends. All right, so it's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come fast. But you're going to be able to learn it. You're going to be able to do fine. And you're going to have fun, especially if you stay in tune with this channel. We're going to be doing so many things. Like I said, SBCs. When they have repeatable SBCs come out, I know a lot of you guys might not have the coins available to just go out and smash 20, 25 upgrade packs at a time in October during um, what, like Halloween or the Scream promo. 
I'll be here doing that because I want to open those packs. And one of my goals this year is to have more fun and to spend more coins on stuff during the game instead of waiting until team of the season to be like the end all promo when we've had so much time in the game before that to enjoy the game and to have good teams and to play weekend league and rivals and friendly games with um, good players and doing SBCs. I want to spend more um, of my resources this year having fun in the middle stages, early stages, and throughout the game and not trying to delay all of that to get the best team possible at the end of FIFA because we know we saw what happened this year during footies. You could buy team of the season cards for way less than what they were going for when they first came out. This Neymar team of the season card was like 10 million coins. He was like 10 million coins. This card right here was 10 mil and he was down to like 3 mil during the footies promo. So there's a point of the year where everything crashes, the market dies, and you'll be able to buy whatever card you want to buy to be honest. But that's what I'm focused on this year is to have a lot of fun throughout the game and to, of course, teach you guys and create fun content on the channel. We're going to be reviewing promos. I'm going to have a series this year called Rate the Promo. We're going to bring people on to the channel and we're going to look at whatever promo came out in FIFA Ultimate Team or we're going to rate it. We're going to rate it out of 10 um, depending on different areas like SBCs, objectives, the cards that were in packs, etc., um, that's one thing that I want to bring out this year. I didn't really do that much last year. And I just want to bring different videos to the channel this year as well. Obviously, I do a lot of trading. We make coins. That's the number one goal. But I want to do fun stuff for you guys as well. So we're going to be evolving that throughout the year. Um, but of course, you're going to be able to find any trading related content that you need on this channel, whether it be from low budget to high budget to anything in between. You're going to be able to find it here. All types of cards, all types of trading, flipping, investing. You're going to be able to find it here. We'll talk about it. And always, if you have a question, tweet me. Put it in my Discord. Those links will be down below the stream. You can get in contact with me there. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this year of FIFA 20 so much. Um, because of the growth that I had in FIFA 19 with my knowledge, um, with helping you guys out, meeting so many of you guys, it was freaking awesome. I'm so excited for FIFA 20 and the ride that it's going to be. So get your get your minds ready, get your goals set, and figure out what you're going to be doing for FIFA 20. I mean, whether that includes FIFA points, whether that includes no FIFA points, um, which I think is the best way to go, or if uh, you just want to watch the YouTube channel and hang out because you like to have fun uh, with this community, whatever you're going to do this year, make it a fun one, and hopefully I can be involved in that with you guys. But... That's basically what I wanted to, to start FIFA 20 off with. I wanted to give you guys an overview of the channel, what we're going to be talking about, and what you can expect to see during FIFA 20. It's still weird to say because I'm in FIFA 19 right now. It's weird to say FIFA 20, even though this game is still out. So, boys, if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. I am so pumped for FIFA 20. It's right around the corner. I hope you guys are as well. Of course, I just said it, but I'll say it again. Hit this thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And comment down below if you're hyped for FIFA 20. Dude, let me see the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching the video. And of course, I will catch you in a video soon. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.